Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we have the brand new Umarex Complete in 22 caliber. Now this gun is brand new for 2024. They're dropping this gun in the middle of May. We're filming it like a couple weeks in advance of that. Did not announce this at SHOT Show, and it's a pretty revolutionary gun, so if they weren't sure when exactly it was gonna hit, I get why they didn't announce it at SHOT Show and create a bunch of initial hype. Now, with that said, let's dive into the details here because this is a PCP rifle that's going to be dropping at the $200 mark, and it is a very, very unique, different PCP than anything you've seen before. So starting at the front of the gun, the Complete does employ Umarex's Silence Air technology. We've seen this on some of their CO2 guns like the Fusion before, uh, so it should do a pretty good job of keeping things nice and quiet, and of course the barrel is fully shrouded as well. Now we're gonna skip over the air source part here. We'll come back to it later, don't worry. That's the new part, so we will definitely come back to that. But the breech, we have a full Picatinny rail setup or, or Weaver Picatinny rail setup, and the breech is full polymer. So uh, not like, this is all one piece of polymer, which is good, uh, but you don't have a whole lot of metal here, and that's okay, it keeps things nice and lightweight. We've seen this work well on other guns, so not a concern I have, and it feels like pretty durable stuff as well. Um, we do have a three to 12 scope mounted up here, uh, but this this will come with a 4 to 32 scope or 4 by 32 rather um, and that's going to be very bare bones right so it's meant to be an entry level package this is something you're going to be able to pick up and go right out of the box you sight it in you zero it and you're going to be good to go obviously for our purposes target shooting indoors i need a little bit more magnification parallax adjustment those things help me show you guys what this gun can do now, you do have a side lever operation here. Very easy to operate. Not a lot of hammer spring tension on this one. It feels like very smooth, very simple. Uh, you don't have a drop down lever or anything like that, but this works well. Like I said, nice and easy, not even a full kind of uh, 90 degree angle pullback there, which is nice. And uh, it does come with a 10 round magazine as well. This is real easy to load. We'll show you that as well, um, but loads right into the breech. Again, very simple system. We've seen stuff like this before. Uh, the trigger does have the safety on the trigger. You see that little silver bit there. You push it through from the other side and that is gonna render it safe. You come back, push it through. You got that red ring right there and that is hot. Uh, you can decock the gun as well from the same way we do most PCPs. You hold the bolt back, you pull the trigger and you are good to go. One thing to note, there is a length of travel adjustment here in the trigger uh, housing area. So little Allen key right through that hole there is going to allow you to adjust the length of the trigger travel. Now the stock, this is obviously a synthetic polymer stock, uh, but a nice one for sure not hollow at all. This thing feels very solid. Uh, this gray color is how production should look, but from what I've been told, they're changing up some of the shaping here at the grip. Now, I don't find this uncomfortable, so I'm not sure what they're changing exactly, uh, but it'll look a little different basically when you guys get it. Probably handle better if I had to guess, even though personally, I don't think this handles poorly by any stretch. Uh, for a $200 PCP, this is actually pretty awesome. But uh, you've got some nice checkering here on the grip area. Kind of feels like some of the stuff we've seen on some polymer pistols in the firearms market. Raised cheek piece, rubber butt pad. You even have M-lock slots up here at the front and on the bottom as well. So a lot of good stuff going on here. Now let's talk about the cool part of the complete and that is this new nitro air system. Now these look like 88, 90 gram CO2 cartridges. They are not. They are actually 88 or 90 gram. I don't know exactly what size, but they are uh, nitrogen filled cylinders. This is filled with up to 3,600 PSI of nitrogen. Uh, and you are plugging this directly into the gun. We'll show you that here in a second. Uh, but that is very unique. This is basically a disposable cartridge. You don't refill these and uh, there's no other way to fill the gun. But if you've been waiting to take the step or make the plunge, take the jump, whatever, into the PCP market and the idea of buying a hand pump, a tank or a compressor has been what is holding you back, maybe this is the thing that gets you into it. This gets you PCP-like performance uh, for 30, 40 shots is what Umarex is claiming out of these cylinders, and obviously we will test that, but that gets you PCP performance without having to make that initial investment into a fill source. And that's pretty cool in my opinion. I don't know if this makes sense for existing PCP owners, and that's okay. What we need as an industry is new innovative ideas that get people into the space to help them take that next step, right? Because once you see the performance of this thing, I'm assuming anyway, if this is like many other PCPs for the price for $200, this could be a phenomenal value for the money, both in performance 
and cool factor, right? Because this is very unique without you having to spend the extra 100, 300, 500 dollars to get another fill source. And I'll show you how this works now, but I, I've also forgotten to mention something uh, that's also very unique about this rifle for the $200 price tag, and that's that it's regulated. Yes. So you are going to get very consistent performance for like 30, we'll figure out how many shots uh, that actually is, but Umarex is rating this like 30 shots on the reg basically. Now, because there's no gauge, you don't know exactly how many shots that is, but nonetheless, still has a regulator. Pretty cool. When you are uh, attaching one of these cylinders, this one's empty that's on here because I've been shooting it obviously, you are going to depress the two tabs here on that front part of the stock and slide forward. We've seen this before on like the gauntlet stocks where they do this, which is pretty neat, uh, but that'll expose the cylinder to you. Now I can just unscrew this. If this were under pressure right now, you would not be able to unscrew it. It's a lot of pressure behind this thing and nor would you want to try by the way. So if you do for whatever reason need to empty one of these cylinders, like it's almost out of air and you want to put a new one on or whatever, They've actually given you a little degassing port here at the bottom. You just pop an Allen key in there, you bleed out the rest of that pressure, and then you can take this off and put the new one on. Uh, it's got an adapter. This is a unique system. So these cylinders are not exactly the same as a CO2 cylinder of the same size. So you're not going to be able to swap a CO2 cylinder, I don't think, anyway, onto this. And these certainly will not work on your CO2 guns from my understanding. And nor would you want to try because this is a lot more pressure than CO2 puts out. But you've got your little adapter in there. There's one seal in there. I believe you might even get a replacement, but those are, it's a pretty common size. So replacing that if you need to down the road for whatever reason is gonna be pretty easy to do. But I will show you how a new one goes in here because we're gonna go out to the range and shoot this anyway. So you throw it on just like so. One thing I will mention as I tighten this down, I'm getting pretty close here. Make sure you tighten the bleed screw back up after you bleed it so you don't lose the whole cylinder, okay? That's a good call. Um, we just go ahead and it just pierced. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. It's, it's pretty quiet, but just pierced. We now have uh, nitrogen running through the gun. So we can put our cover back on and now we can hit the range. There's a lot of appeal to this for me, guys. We'll talk more about it when we wrap up the video, but this is pretty cool and something we've not seen before. So let's hit the range and see if the performance of the gun is worth your $200. Loading the complete mags is pretty easy. A little different than a gauntlet though. You are just gonna drop your pellet right in and then rotate around to the next opening. And once you drop that pellet in, it stays under tension there. So you can just rotate. You do have to keep your finger behind it like so, uh, just to make sure the pellet doesn't fall through, but you are good. And you just load 10 rounds, just like so. All right, guys, so 45 yards with the complete here, uh, running it off of a fresh nitro air cartridge. Five shot groups there, uh, just because we've got to conserve this nitro air cartridge. Um, we got Predator GTOs, three quarters of an inch. That's pretty damn impressive. Uh, again, $200 gun, that's very solid. Uh, but the best for sure, JSB 1589s at a 5 8 inch group. That is five shots at just a hair over a half inch at 45 yards from a $200 PCP. It's pretty wild, guys. Uh, just to give you an idea though, the lighter stuff, it was definitely the way to go in our barrel here. Uh, this is what heavier pellets look like. Like this is JSB 18 ones, this is JTS 18 ones, just not very good by comparison. So stick to the 16 grain and under stuff and I am sure you're gonna have great success. Uh, this thing certainly has the goods. Let's take those 15 eight nines and put them over the chronograph and see what a full cartridge, one of these nitro air cartridges gives you. So putting the JSB Jumbos, the 1589s, in the complete over the chronograph, you are looking at 38 shots on the regulator. Now, Umarex tells us the regulator set at about 1800 PSI. There's no way to know that, of course, because there is no gauge on the gun, but 35 to 40 shots is what you're going to want to take before you can expect to see diminished velocity performance. Now, in terms of the numbers, we're getting an average velocity of about 850 
feet per second over those 38 shots. That comes out to about 25 foot pounds on average. So plenty of power for small game. Your extreme spread is just 14 feet per second over those 38 shots. The reg's doing its job very well and the standard deviation of just 2.2 feet per second. These numbers look phenomenal. All right, friends, let's wrap up the Umarex Complete here in the 22 caliber. I think this is a lot of gun for the money for just $200, right? And it's an interesting gun for the money for $200 as well. Uh, this Nitro Air system is unique, obviously. Umarex is the first to do this. Will others do it? I don't know, all right? Uh, this will depend on a lot of how you guys react and if you guys go out and buy it in droves or if this attracts a whole bunch of new PCP owners into the fold, right? And that's really what this is all about. This is a PCP option in terms of performance, both in shot count, uh, pretty close power, I would say, to a similarly priced gun, uh, as well as quietness, accuracy, like all of those things, it checks all of the boxes for the money. The big question is, what do you guys think, right? And you're gonna let us know down in the comments, which is good, I approve. Uh, but in my opinion, if you are a potential PCP owner, but you haven't taken the plunge yet because you don't wanna buy a pump, you don't wanna buy a tank, and you don't wanna buy a compressor, this is absolutely something that deserves your attention. I would take this over a brake barrel any day of the week, and that's why this gun exists. So maybe there are some other reasons you guys think that this gun has a place, but for me, this is gonna be the gateway for a lot of new potential PCP owners in the future, because once you see the performance of this, feel it, shoot it for yourself, right? You might be asking yourself, what does a $500 PCP get me? Now I'm gonna buy a compressor. Now I'll buy the hand pump, whatever. You guys get where I'm going with this. This could be a great gateway into the PCP space. So kudos to Umarex for that. Again, for 200 bucks, I think this is a lot of gun for the money. It's a very unique system. And again, like 30, 40 shots on one of these cylinders. Uh, you get two of them for about $20, $25 somewhere in there. That's pretty reasonable. That's not too bad. Uh, this is something you could leave by the door, pick it up when you need it, go to town right in the backyard, whatever the case may be. Uh, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Obviously, that's most important. And what do you all think of the new complete? Let us know, let Umarex know. This is a very unique product. So I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well to the channel. We appreciate it a ton. Hope you enjoyed the video today and we'll see you next time.